even till day uh, my sisters they don't agree that i i cook so nicely myself anjali lodha i'm married to a jharkhandi guy he is ritesh lodha and i'm basically a housewife but i love to do uh, cooking crafting and also i used to conduct workshop and i basically belong to uh, bengal i'm born and brought up from bengal purulia and i'm married in jharkhand that is chakulia it's a very small village i was not into cooking but uh, i was not at all in this cooking field okay but uh, like you know it was i cannot even dream of cooking i cannot even dream i was a little one right so i have never been to kitchen also like my sister in law used to cook and my mom used to tell tell me that like, oh she is cooking alone come on go and help her she will she will get her done uh, her work done very nicely and very soon and you will get to know you get to learn and all after getting married to uh, tokyo we moved to tokyo and there as i was not having even any in that time so frequently so it was very difficult for me like what i eat if i don't cook i i cannot survive there so gradually from that only you can say that my food journey started like i kept on streaming youtubes and i used to try many 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 dishes i got to know that food is something everybody want everybody and everybody especially in foreign country we miss indian flavor i used to try whatever i felt like i am craving for i used to search and i used to try there were many hidden trials because there are a lot of uh, you know uh, recipes in uh, youtube and all i explored myself that what i am good in what can i do what are my weakness what are my strong points i went into this field and uh, like uh, one day what happened like my friend okay she was basically from kerala so she asked me like uh, she had a small baby so she was she was not well and she asked me to make some chapatis for her so as a friend only i said her that okay fine i'll i'll cook it for you and when i gave her that but she loved it so much that she just posted my parathas and all in the group and uh, she only posted me up that no you take orders we are craving for fresh food here and all So, and it's very difficult to manage everything if you are staying in some foreign countries or you are staying alone so with a small baby it becomes definitely difficult right so gradually i started taking orders there they used to come and pick up at home like there were around 15 families where i used to stay we used to stay in ojima in tokyo so around there was 15 families and maximum were from south india so but i had very good connections and with you can say with i did something there so this was something i uh, you know uh, good moments okay from tokyo and all even i started taking party orders in tokyo like i used to get uh, orders for 50 or 60 pieces of samosas and all and i have uh, done many things like uh, i used to cook desserts prepare desserts snacks uh, like parathas different kind of uh, parathas naan kulcha I conducted my workshop and it was I think in the month of April 2013 it was around 16 days they like uh, enrolled for this and it was that was a 3 day workshop in that I taught way 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 more things I uh, taught baking I uh, taught pudding and sweets like we go, if we get honey come in India right that gaver we say that so I have connected every uh, have a uh, conducted workshops on them have connected work conduct conducted workshops on snacks okay like uh, conducted workshops on curries on mocktails ice creams chocolates and from the very beginning i was you know like i like spicy food tangy spicy kind of so uh, like i was very choosy of like while eating and all no i don't eat this i'm not eat that i was i was having so much tantrums like my mom used to blend all the spices and all and she used to make it gradually when i sense that look okay fine like my mom uh, she was unable to cook and also uh, like what i did one day i just uh, 
uh, Bobri brought the pav bhaji and bit of bhaji was left at home. Okay, and uh, had rice, uh, leftover rice was there. So you got me, don't, don't worry, just uh, take a pan, just put up some butter or ghee, whatever you want and just uh, put that uh, rice, saute it for a minute and just put the bhaji there and just blend it with some spices. I was like, okay, fine. I was, you know, worried that I don't know how it will turn out. Like, I was like, in no way cooking. I didn't even had a clue that how much salt should I, should I add in and all. Cooking for me was a big burden. Like it was a big, you can say, a uh, headache. You can say that. But I prepared the way my mom told me, and I was like, "Ye to way hai, ye to way tha." I mean, like, mom used to prepare this for me. My question was, I, like, I was totally confused. It was so yummy and so quick to make. So when she returned home, and I asked her that, uh, mom, as I said, yeah, it turned out really well and all. So she said, yes, that's the thing, that is tawa pulao. I know that you like pav bhaji a lot. So I used to prepare bhaji for you and I used to just blend it with rice. So uh, this is the best memory I can say. And from there only I started cooking myself this tawa pulao and all because it satisfies me. It soothes me from inside, you can say, because from very small age, I like eat this rice. Like, What I feel and everybody believe that there's no age for learning, right? You can learn any time, any day, any, you know, any moment and every day is a learning. Art is a form, you can, so you can say dance is an art, singing is an art, cooking is an art, right? Like empty, empty stomach is very nagging, right? If your tummy is full, you are happy. You say that apple a day keeps a doctor away, right? So food is always a good mood, right?